Hi folks, Astronomy Live here. I've been called out by Anthony Riley, also known as Sleeping Warrior. He claims that my video debunking the claim that moonlight makes things colder is actually fraudulent and a terrible experiment. However, the only experiment he shows is this right here. This is from the first few seconds of that video, where I clearly state that this is not my experiment, this is what I am debunking, and I'm showing why this methodology is wrong, why it doesn't work, and why it appears to show that moonlight makes things colder than objects that are in shade and not in direct moonlight. The device seen in this video is of course an infrared thermometer, which measures the temperature of objects by the amount of far infrared light coming from those objects. Now the rest of the video, which he doesn't show, can be found in the link in this video's description. But basically, I measured the infrared light coming from the moon using a reflecting telescope, not a refracting telescope, and that's important for reasons we're going to get into in this video. But I also showed that when you're measuring a metal object laying on the ground, you're actually measuring a reflection. If you're measuring a metal object laying under open skies, you're generally measuring the open sky itself, not necessarily the moon, and so you will get a very low reading. However, if that object is in shade, you're likely measuring the object that's actually casting the shade, which might have a much warmer temperature. So Anthony proposes to measure the temperature of moonlight with this apparatus, which consists of a magnifying glass and apparently a digital thermometer. Now the problem with this is that I stated in my previous video that you shouldn't use a refractor to do this experiment. Why is that? Well, the reason is that glass is very effective at blocking and reflecting infrared light. That's why you have the greenhouse effect in actual greenhouses. So this apparatus looks like it's pretty much doomed to fail from the beginning. And that's why I said, don't use a refractor. That is a refracting lens, and it will block most of the infrared light coming from the moon. We can actually demonstrate this with more common sources of heat and an infrared thermometer. Okay, Anthony, let me show you why you shouldn't be using a refracting lens to try to measure temperature. Glass blocks infrared light very effectively. Very little gets through, so you are blocking most of your signal. Here's a nice little uh, grill that I've got going, some flames starting to shoot up there. Let's see what temperature it reads when I use this nice big refracting telescope. This is an Orion ST80. It's got a nice big lens in there and we're going to use that with the infrared thermometer to see what kind of reading we get. Max temperature, 77.5, or 77.7 .7 max, yeah. Come on, focus. There we go. Okay, that's with the refractor. It can't read hardly any of that infrared light there. Okay, now, if I take the infrared thermometer out, I'm just going to lay the refractor down. Now, let's see what our fire reads with just the thermometer by itself. Oh, let's see if I can get it to focus here. There we go. How about that? Hundreds of degrees Fahrenheit. Seems to be working just fine. But not when you're trying to measure the temperature through a refracting lens, which will block the far infrared light that this thermometer measures. 
here's a positive control. Here is a reflecting telescope, not a refractor. It doesn't use a lens, it just uses mirrors to concentrate the light. And it's pointed at the grill. hundred and forty eight point eight degrees and that's not even staring into the grill that is pointed at the side of the grill all right the telescope is currently pointed at the moon let's put the thermometer in and see what kind of readings we get all right so the telescope is pointed at the moon and we're getting temperature readings about 62.6 okay so let's now move the telescope off of the moon getting about 50.9 okay so no moonlight does not make things colder but you do have to use a reflecting telescope to concentrate the light not a refracting lens end of story